What is the essence of science? Ask an impertinent question, and you are on the way to the pertinent answer. Woodpeckers are chiefly known for their characteristic behavior. They mostly forage for insect prey on the trunks and branches of trees, and often communicate by drumming with their beaks, producing a reverberatory sound that can be heard at some distance. Have you ever seen woodpeckers pecking on a tree? Woodpeckers are capable of repeated pecking on a tree at high decelerations to the order of 10,000 meters per second squared. Since they are shaking their heads at such a high speed, why don't woodpeckers get a headache? Woodpeckers can emit 15 blows in one second. This is a speed so fast that movie cameras cannot keep up with their movements. Can you imagine a human exposed to such incessant pounding without any injury? It's suggested that the woodpecker's brain must be protected in some unknown way. Ivan R. Schwab and Philip May were awarded the Ig Nobel Nobel Prize in 2006 for their contributions to this interesting question. They researched the heads of woodpeckers using a special saw and supporting jig. They found that inherent pecking behavior of woodpecker helped them to evolve a thick bony skull with a relatively spongy bone to partially cushion the incessant blows. The mandibles are attached to the skull by powerful muscles that contract a millisecond before the strike, creating a special structure to act as a buffer against impact and distributing the force of impact to other parts. Woodpeckers have a very small ratio of brain weight to the surface area. Therefore, it helps impact to spread out over a relatively large area, explaining why the brain is more resistant to concussion than humans. In addition, the tongue of woodpeckers is most unusual as they are up to 4 inches beyond the tip of the bill. The musculotendinous bands in the tongue form a sling-like structure and play a role as a shock absorber. Overall, so many special and interesting structures in woodpeckers resulted in such a tough and stable brain. Do you have any interesting science questions? Subscribe to us and find the answer.